The French philosopher Blaise Pascal once said, all of humanity's problems stem from man's inability to sit quietly in a room alone. Now that may be a bit deep to talk about an upcoming concert, but with COVID-19 canceling numerous events, music from an orchestra will be a welcome sound. With the breath and movement of her baton, Beverly Everett begins a rehearsal of the Bismarck Mandan Symphony Orchestra's 2020-21 season. Although this is the first concert of the year, it's more than that. It's being called a concert of hope. I just felt like it needed to have something that would be uplifting to people, even in the title of it. So that's where that came from. Everett recalls just how much support and hope she could feel at the orchestra's last indoor concert, just before so much of life came to a halt. We had a concert right on March 14th, which was also my birthday. And so we made a decision. We went ahead with the concert. We had just a thunderous applause from our audience in appreciation of going forward with the concert. Since COVID-19 has canceled concerts in North Dakota and around the world, it's served as a stark reminder to both Everett and the orchestra's concert master of just how much of a group effort music is. For us musicians, it's really, it has been really hitting us really, really hard. You can practice at home and you can put, put, out, put out your heart at home, but it's just between you. But when you share it with some other people, their responses and the environment transports you to a different stage. And that's the magic of playing in a symphony, in an orchestra. For this first concert, the pieces had to be chosen for a smaller orchestra. But Everett says audiences should still expect to hear a big sound from players wanting to welcome back lovers of music. Music can help heal. So just take one day, one moment at a time. The concert will happen twice, this Friday and Saturday, featuring several works, including a violin and viola duet with orchestra by Mozart. Now, only season ticket holders will be allowed to attend in person, while general tickets will be available for online streaming. We've got a link with all the details over on kxnet.com.